As I'm sure we all know by now, the Try Guys have removed Ned Fulmer from their company. But it doesn't seem like everybody knows why, and a lot of people on the internet are really mad at Saturday Night Live for a skit they did over the weekend. So Ned was removed as a result of having a relationship with an employee below him. Yes, he cheated on his wife, and yes, it looks as if the person he was with had also cheated on their fiance. But the cheating was not the issue. The issue that put the company at risk was the the fact that him as a boss, an owner of this company, was with one of his employees. The power dynamic is not okay and a major liability for the company as a whole. She could have easily sued the company if she felt she was wronged and that would have put the entire company at risk. Their reputation with brands, their reputation as a whole, and other companies that are partnered with them would also be at risk. And that is exactly why the guys removed Ned as soon as they were made aware of the situation to prevent any further damage to the company. A majority of the internet seems to understand why the Try Guys were as hurt and angry as they were by Ned's actions, as he put all of their careers on the line for a relationship. But some had said things like, why isn't she fired? She cheated too. Yes, but cheating isn't a fireable offense. That's a personal problem, not one in the workplace. Others have said things like, she was with a married man and knew that, and that's messed up. Yes, it is. It's very messed up, but that's just a testament to her character and not her as an employee, that's not a fireable offense to be with somebody's husband. In the workplace environment, she's seen as an employee whose boss was inappropriate because even if she was okay with the relationship, he is in the wrong for even being with one of his employees. She can't be sued for cheating or being with a married man, but the company could be sued for a boss using his power over another employee. And that's exactly why the guys are so upset because the fact that that could have even been a possibility that all of them could have gotten sued and he was willing to risk that, that is a problem. Unfortunately, it didn't look like Saturday Night Live understood that as the issue when they did a skit about the Try Guys over the weekend. They did an entire sketch where they recreated the Try Guys video titled What Happened, where Eugene, Zach, and Keith sat down to address what happened when they found out and the process of removing Ned. They were so very obviously hurt and angry and it felt like SNL was making fun of them taking the issue so seriously. If Alex felt wronged at any time, or if he had broken it off with her and she didn't like that, she could have easily sued the entire company. That's just so frustrating to hear that somebody that they thought was a friend would do this to not only his wife, who they are also friends with, but to his family and this company. That's not just him that would face repercussions. They could have all lost everything. And seeing how people have been canceled online before, they were probably all just that in fear that Ned doing this was going to take the whole company down and they would all be done forever. Luckily, they handled things quickly and the right way, but Saturday Night Live's sketch had a lot of people questioning NBC and the writers for the sketch, since it seemed like they were saying the guys were just being dramatic for firing their friend who cheated on his wife, and he was with an employee, wondering why that was just such a big deal. Thank you. This is, yeah, it's, it's just surreal. There's a lot of anger on this couch. Um, okay, <clears throat> welcome Try Guys. Yeah, I'm trying to understand why this story is such a scandal. Was this affair non-consensual? No, worse. He committed the heinous act of having a consensual kiss and not telling us his friends. <laughs> I'm sorry, why is that heinous? Well, you have to remember the power dynamics, Laura. He's a try guy and she's a food baby. <laughs> When NBC tweeted out this sketch, people were definitely ripping it apart all in the comment section. People saying, so finally some men handle an inappropriate workplace relationship correctly and this is the response? What's wrong with you all? If NBC SNL think a whole owner of a company having an affair with an employee is comedy, I can't imagine the work environment there. Finally, men take a stand and it's made fun of. Way to be on the right side of things, SNL. I just watched my last show. They could have gone a million different ways with this sketch. They could have taken the angle of like, who is a try guy? Or, you know, who are these people? Or, you know, why are people talking about, you know, these YouTubers? But making fun of how serious they took it and constantly joking about this consensual relationship being a big deal was upsetting to the internet and to the try guys. Keith's wife, Becky, who does a podcast with Ned's wife, Ariel, retweeted this tweet saying, is it just me or is it kind of screwed up that they are making fun of a power dynamic of a relationship between a company's founder 
founder and one of its employees. And then Becky tweeted out, anyone remember that tripod episode where he talks about his Yale friend who writes for SNL asking for a friend? And Eugene commented, oh my. And it's true, Ned does have a friend at Saturday Night Live, and he mentioned this connection in one of the recent podcasts. A yeah. friend of mine's a writer, and he just had a newborn. Uh, oh my I, God, I, I that's wild. I don't know how he's surviving. He's like got a newborn baby, and he's a writer on SNL. It's gotta just, it's so much. I doubt he was at the party. Well, I was, <laughs> was gonna say, I was chatting with a different writer who I don't think is this friend, but went to Yale with you. Oh, and Will Steven. Yeah, he was so great. And he said he's been doing this for seven seasons. So he Whoa. was, he was started like when Trump was first running. Whoa. And I was like, that must have been crazy. And a lot of people are feeling like this little connection of his is the reason why Saturday Night Live painted him in not such a bad light and painted the Try Guys as just guys that were unnecessarily angry and sad by their friends' actions. Zach liked to tweet where someone said he committed the heinous act of having a consensual kiss and not telling us his friends. That wasn't actually the issue, but I guess Saturday Night Live doesn't really understand holding men responsible for workplace misconduct. Keith also liked that tweet and another that said, interesting that the only one seemingly unscathed in the sketch was Ned. A producer for the Try Guys, Miles, went on Kelsey's podcast and had this to say about the skit. You picked the only bad take. <laughs> There was only one bad take and you guys found it. Yeah, I just thought that was so crazy. Were you surprised? Uh, I mean, I don't watch SNL typically. I like a lot of the people on Same. it. I'm not like one of the, you know, I think that I'm not like a super fan of the show, but obviously it's SNL. The it's show got legacy. It's got legacy. And so like, I like that show, but I just thought it was like kind of disappointing. Uh, it, you know it, what? I'll say it, this. Yeah. This isn't Please. actually. Yeah. No, give me your take. Do people think that the problem with Bill Clinton was that he cheated? Because that's... That's the, the take. That's the take yeah, that's that the I'm take. seeing is people yeah. are being like, yeah, Bill Clinton got in trouble because he cheated. No, you. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm so glad you're saying this because I've been trying to put my finger on it. it sounded like it was written by someone who had never been on the Internet and yeah. wrote a take about it. Right. Based off of Twitter threads. I, I get I Based know. off of it being trending. That it, it How do you feel that they did with the um, impressions? <laughs> yeah, that was kind of funny. That I was fun. That was what I thought the outfits, was funny. The outfits, like that, that was all cute. And then you and then listen like, oh. and you're like, it's five minutes of the wrong point. Poo -poo. There's been a ton of people on TikTok making fun of SNL's skit and how they totally missed the mark and a bunch of people who have been saying what they should have done. Hey, Ned Fulmer, it's me. Yeah, your old Yale friend is now an SNL writer. Uh-huh. So when I'm writing the sketch, you need me to say that it was consensual multiple times? Okay, we can do that. What if we don't say that it was cheating for a year? What if we say it was one little kiss? Ned Fulmer, no one needs to know that your whole personality and brand is based on you loving your wife. That's what I'm saying. Sexual misconduct is not a big deal in the workplace. So instead of saying she was your subordinate, in it. What if we say she was a food baby? Uh-huh. Yeah, I like that too. If someone's watching this and they don't know anything about this very nuanced situation, uh, you're gonna be looking pretty good. <laughs> Yell bros for love! If you're watching this, you probably already know what Ned did, so we just wanted to come on and clear up any confusion you may have. And I just want to say, I um, feel so very sad about what's happened, and I wish I felt happier. I want to be a happy little guy, but instead I'm a sad little guy because Ned cheated on his wife. <laughs> now, a lot of you have been asking us what we're going to do. And I don't know about these soy boys, but I'm going to sh him in the f to captivate him, burn his f***ing corpse, and wave his f***ing head in front of his weeping mother. We know uh, that you all come to us for a place uh, of wholesome content, and you might be feeling betrayed right now. And trust us, we feel that way too. Inside Out 2. This time, it's personal. Rated R. Zach's wife also came out on her Instagram the night that the segment aired and said they really thought they did something. And also said, I guess SNL's commentary on the appropriateness of workplace relations makes sense considering and linked this article to an employee at NBC who had a lawsuit filed against him and was accused of a number of things. So it's very clear that the Try Guys and anybody associated with the Try Guys very clearly is upset by the sketch, doesn't think it was funny, and thinks that it could have been funny. They think that there were tons of things that they could have made jokes about, but it just didn't come through. They didn't actually joke about the thing that they have been joking about and other people have been joking about and they definitely chose to pick the worst possible way to make 
any joke about the conversation. I honestly can't believe they even had a sketch about the Try Guys, but that's just how big the story got. The story was very huge. It was everywhere because, you know, when you see somebody that is this I love my wife guy and he's talking about how he's a family man and to find out that he's done all these things, you're just shocked. It's like not only did he cheat on his wife, but he cheated with an employee and there's videos of him with this employee and he was so public about it. It's just crazy and it's sad but the Try Guys have been trying to get back to the new normal since Ned has been removed. They've been posting content again, and I'm rooting for the three of them. So that's what's going on in their bubble. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.